Hi, it's Keith with Kilgore 5. So we're into part two of the videos of diagnosing the furnaces. In the previous video, we went over the components of the furnace. In this video, we're gonna go over the sequence of operations and how you should be checking those sequence of operations against what is going on with your furnace. Okay, so over here, you're gonna find your you're gonna find your switch. We're gonna go through how the power goes through the board and gets to where it needs to be. So we have power coming in off of this right here. It's looped back up inside here. You can't really see it. Actually, maybe. Let's see if we can. Okay, so the power comes in, gets looped back into this switch through the switch and then it gets sent back out. So part of the power goes down to the board to provide main power to the board right here. The other side of the switch, which is piggybacked off of there, is sent up here. Now this is the wire that goes up to your thermostat up on your wall. And then when you close that thermostat up there and call for heat, the power goes up to the thermostat. It's looped back down. Essentially it's like twisting these wires together. Now we've connected here. Now this becomes our hotline, which comes to here. And then we've taken and cut all these wires here so that we can kind of show individually how the power goes to each one. These are usually all connected together. So this becomes our hotline. Then it sends power down to the board. That power goes down to the board, which then engages the fan, tells the fan to turn on, the fan turns on now we start the sequence of events for proving that there is actually airflow so the 12 volts is now traveling at the same time down through our sail switches in there which is this right here so this is sitting in here like so the power is going in it wants to come back out the fans kicked on it's clicked up like this it's allowing the power to go through the switch now the power is traveling down along here to our limit switch which is sitting back here power in power back out now that power travels back down back into the board and tells the board that yes it sees power through all of the circuits so it's saying that yes is everything is okay that is our proving circuit now it is allowing it to click over open our gas valve and start our igniter. Now that sequence will run three times before it will lock this board out and then you have to go and turn your furnace off and turn it back on again to get it to restart that sequence. So with all of that when you're checking those you're obviously always going to start if it's out of the unit you're going to want to get it all set up like we have a test battery here. Get it all set up. Red is red is positive, yellow is ground. I have never seen a furnace that is any different. So yellow is always ground, red is always your positive. Okay, we'll make sure that it's clicked on there. We have all of our wires connected together. And just for the sake of doing it. DC voltage. went through all of our proving circuit down to our board and it's trying to ignite and there it ignited it lit and it just kicked out so as well as this being an igniter it is a flame sense as well so if it doesn't sense the flame in there it will go out so we'll show them show that one here real quick. So there it tried to light again.
So there is supposed to be an exhaust pipe on here. We just don't have one for this particular furnace, which is probably one of the main reasons that it won't actually stay running because the exhaust is being, the combustion gas is being poured out and sucked back into the combustion chamber. This is probably stuff in the flame out. So there, it just tried to light again. So now we'll let it go into a lockout just to show that, show what it does when it goes into a lockout. So we'll just we'll just fake a lockout. So let's say at any time one of these the switch fails. Take the switch out of there. Immediately it's not going to try and it's lost power to that circuit. It's already flashing code on the board. it's going to just it's going to shut the whole furnace down and then that board is the board telling you where to kind of look in the sequence of events to see okay so what it's flashing right now is one flash so it's one flash and then Airflow in the fault. Airflow in the fault being the sail switch. So there's your the first part of the, of the proving circuit has failed, and the board is the board is sensed that. But at the same time, when you're looking at it here, airflow and limit fault. It has two different aspects of it. Airflow being this, limit fault being your high limit switch back here. So this is where you have the test that we showed in the uh, previous video is where you have to have to do those. You have to test to make to see if it's the continuity on your limit on your sail switch or if it's the continuity on your limit switch. Which one which one has failed? The, the board is smart enough to tell you where, but it's not smart enough to tell you which one because they're not individually wired they're wired in a series so with that I think uh, that'll wrap up this particular portion of the of the video and the next one we'll kind of get into more of the diagnosing part and how to take things apart and how to replace them